Ed in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Hey, Ed, thanks for listening to hey, the uh, CPT, WCPT web stream. What's on your mind? Uh, well, I just happen to be a chemist. Uh, I'm disabled, so I'm not uh, working as one now, but uh, we've been interested in that sort of thing for ages. And a fun fact is that there are fewer chemists working in the trade now than in the 1970s. Really? Uh, so you have your resistant drugs. Well, I know. Somebody's got a friggin' uh, somebody will get them together, uh, but it won't yeah. be a chemist because uh, you have to have the money go to the executives and not to chemists. Right. And, but the thing that gets me <clears throat> is that people say, you know, don't get the government involved. Well, the problem is anytime you have a tax deduction, the government is involved. And the fact that half the people in this country make less than $30,000 uh, proves that you wouldn't have the demand we have now without the government. Yeah. Uh, so it's about time for a single payer, and, uh, but it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, as a chemist, we've been seeing this for, for decades. It's, it's, there is no new drugs except for Viagra, and uh, there's going to be a major outbreak at some point, and we're all going to be in bad shape. Yeah. Yeah, a major outbreak of pretty much anything, including Zika. Well, especially uh, drug-resistant bacteria, which is a big. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, now, now we're seeing. I mean, there, there's now drug-resistant TB. There's drug-resistant oh, gonorrhea. Course. There's drug-resistant, uh, you know, MRSA, the methicillin-resistant streptoc streptococcus sorens. Um, well, well, why don't we put money into maybe finding a cure for? Uh, uh, for any of the new viruses that came out. Yeah. Uh, it was the one that just came out of uh, the Congo. That's yeah. been around for a decade. Well, there, we don't there, have a cure. there is a company, and this is in, in Nature, um, you know, the International Weekly yeah. Journal of Science. Uh, the, it's an article by uh, Amy Maxman. Uh, I believe that anybody can read it. I, have, I subscribe to Nature, so it may uh, yeah, be... It, it's, it's, it's well written for that and scientific. American for uh, yeah it's, it's titled busting the billion dollar myth how to slash the cost of drug development and yeah. uh, they they talk about this this new uh, it's called the DNDI and it, which is the drugs for neglected diseases initiative and they have spent 290 million dollars a quarter of what a typical American pharmaceutical company spends to develop just one drug and with that quarter million that 290 million dollars they have successfully developed a sleeping sick sickness drug, uh, fexaninazole. Uh, they have successfully developed, I need to, I, I'm, I have this on the screen, I should have printed it out and marked <laughs> it up, but they've successfully developed six major new drugs. Um, and, you know, one for sleeping sickness, one for uh, lashomyosis, as I recall. I'm not finding it here in the article. Um, it's just, uh, there, there's just, just a bunch of great stuff that they've well, come well, up with. Well, you're missing the, uh, the big lie there, which is that all the money that they claim that's going to drugs is for drug development, but mostly that's for CEO salaries and for, you know, taking doctors out on excursions and telling them how wonderful the drug is. So, right. uh, uh, you know, drug companies have been cutting back for, I, I'm serious, you can go to the American Chemical Society uh, I forget what. I believe you, Ed. I believe you. It's it's become a scam, as pretty much everything else in this country has. It's all about the money. Ed, thank you for the call.